beautiful family today i want to share with you how to season your skirt beef perfect for grilling outside for making fajitas this seasoning is going to be amazing you're going to love it but first things first my apron is on my hands are clean and i am ready to show you my ingredients your carne asada or your skirt meat these are the ingredients i have one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of smoked paprika one teaspoon of cumin one teaspoon of ginger powder one teaspoon of granulated garlic one teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of dried parsley two tablespoons of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of apple vinegar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, low in sodium, three garlic cloves, and of, of course, two to four pieces of skirt meat. Let's get started. Let's prepare this amazing carne asada. Of course, I want to start here first with the spices. Remember, all these spices give the meat such a delicious and tender flavor that I am sure you guys are going to love it. Once you added all your spices, just whisk them in, making sure that everything is incorporated before you start adding the liquids. Remember, the salt is to taste. I'm not adding any salt because I'm adding soy sauce. But if you want to add salt, it's your choice here i have the three garlic cloves that i'm going to dice very good making sure that they are really sliced diced very small so that the garlic really infuses the rest of the spices this is the part where it takes a little longer time to prepare but look at this this marinade is going to give the meat a delicious and amazing flavor. Look at this. It's really thick. The aroma of the spices, just amazing. Okay, I have the skirt beef here and I am going to cut against the grain so that the meat is very tender and juicy. I'm slicing, making really thin slices. Look at this. Cut against the grain. This is a very important technique so your meat is always tender and moist. Okay, I'm going to transfer it to this plate. These are going to be for the fajitas. And here I'm just going to slice a couple pieces. And I'm going to put it in the same bowl. And now I am ready to add the marinade into this meat. Look at this. Two different options. You could add it to the, you could make little strips or you could just have your pieces large like I did a few. And of course, mix it really good, making sure that everything is coated completely with this delicious marinade. The marinade is going to give the meat an amazing flavor and texture. Of course, I'm not gonna leave anything behind on that bowl. I wanna make sure that everything is covered really good and always make sure that you let it rest for a couple of hours so that the meat really obtain all those amazing flavors really get penetrated without those amazing flavors of the marinade this part is very important 
always marinate and then put it in your refrigerator for a couple of hours. I left it in there for about an hour and it really got nice and red and the flavor of the meat. Oh my gosh, you need to try this recipe. Let me tell you, once everything is nice and coated, then we are going to cover it, put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two. After that time, of course, the skillet is nice and hot and I am ready to start laying the meat. About five minutes on each side. You're gonna know when the you could see the little strips on the meat. Like I said, the marinade is really good and it really penetrates really good inside the meat. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to enjoy. My home smells amazing. I'm going to remove and I'm going to continue cooking the rest. Of course, I'm going to add the little strips on the sides, making sure that I cook them really good. Remember, I'm cooking this in high heat. The meat will come out nice and tender and golden brown. This is the best part making your recipes at home and enjoying them with your beautiful family. Look at this. Nice and golden brown. Of course, I'm going to start mixing everything. After a couple minutes, look at this. They are done. I am ready to prepare some tacos. This week, I made chimichurri. And I am going to enjoy these tacos of carne asada with chimichurri right on the top. You have that amazing recipe on my channel. A very delicious and creamy chimichurri. If you liked and loved this recipe, I invite you to leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media, and be part of Cooking with Gloria. I'll see you in just a little bit. amazing carne asada how to prepare your carne asada at home of course i made myself some tacos and i added chimichurri that of course you already have on my channel i wish you guys were here to taste it with me excuse me mm. 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 the meat is really tender and moist well seasoned I hope, my friends, you made this amazing and delicious carne asada and the chimichurri came out amazing. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I hope you make this amazing recipe. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.